Recording the production sound for a comedy special can pose a number of unique challenges not seen on typical video shoots. Not only do you need to record the comedian's dialogue, but the audience in the room as well. This becomes especially difficult when the venue's PA system is exciting the room the audience is in. I've recorded a number of comedy specials. Here's my approach. Subscribe and visit this video's companion article at henryrap.com. Link in the description. The primary sound source for the comedian's dialogue is going to come from their handheld microphone, the same one feeding the venue's PA system. Whether wired or wireless will depend on the production, but I tend to find wireless preferred for its visual form factor and the comedian's comfort. Either way, you'll want an isolated feed of this microphone prior to ever touching the venue PA system. If it's wired, a transformer isolated split is best practice. If it's wireless, I use a separate receiver. Dynamic microphones tend to perform especially well in this instance for their ability to reject unwanted bleed from the audience and venue PA system. This also makes them far less prone to potential feedback issues from the venue PA system. One of the most important parts of any comedy recording are the audience reactions. But this is also one of the most challenging parts to record. The difficulty lies in being able to capture clean audience sounds while rejecting as much PA bleed as possible. I typically use a zoned audience miking technique with multiple stereo pairs after different things in each of their sounds. For my primary stereo mics, I'm after a placement very close to the main PA speakers of the venue. This yields a very dry bleed while still allowing for great audience capture. I've found putting the speakers in the null of a bi-directional mic yields excellent signal to noise ratio between the audience and venue PA. This will allow you to use more of the crowd mics in your final mix. For my secondary stereo pair, I'm after a placement a bit further into the audience. This yields an overall quieter bleed, but with a bit more reverb tail to it. The venue size and shape will determine my choice for pickup pattern and stereo technique. Even though the lavalier won't be used as their primary dialogue source, I still typically mic the comedian. This is helpful for any time they may be off mic such as during their entrance or exit. It also never hurts to have a backup source on the comedian. Due to the high noise environment, I aim for a placement as close to the comedian's mouth as possible, maybe just beneath the collar. For this application, I love the DPA 4061, but any lavalier will do. With comedy specials typically having high camera counts and long takes, maintaining sync is essential. I typically put sync boxes on every camera. In addition to time code, I recommend the use of Genlock. Genlock allows you to clock each of the camera sensors to maintain better long-term sync. In my personal workflow, I use the Timecode Systems UltraSync 1s on each of the cameras jammed from my Wave Master Clock in my audio bag. Providing a reference mix can be especially helpful for the editor so they don't have to deal with multi-track files until after the edit is locked. I also feed this mix to as many cameras as possible, as well as anyone who might need to listen in on IFBs such as producers or directors. Every venue is different and where gear staging and video village may end up could put you a good distance from the stage. In order to maintain strong and reliable RF, I recommend the use of RF distribution and active shark fin antennas. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and visit this video's companion article at henryrep.com. There's a link in the description.